Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quarter circle with the center O along with this uh, code AB. And as a result, we get this uh, green shaded uh, region as you can see. And moreover, we got this uh, perpendicular CD such that uh, this segment uh, CP is uh, two units. Whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, PD is uh, three units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded region uh, area, we are talking about this uh, green shaded region area is going to be equal to the quarter circle uh, area. We are talking about this uh, whole uh, quarter uh, circle area minus uh, the area of the triangle uh, AOB. We are talking about this uh, right triangle uh, AOB area. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle and the area of this uh, triangle uh, AOB as well. So therefore uh, we have to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. I'm going to label uh, this uh, radius uh, of the quarter circle as uh, lowercase uh, r. Then this uh, radius uh, is going to be lowercase r as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AOB. And we can see this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this uh, side length uh, AO equal to this side length uh, BO. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees. And likewise uh, this angle is 45 degrees uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, side uh, AO and this uh, segment uh, CD are uh, parallel to each other since uh, both of them have uh, 90 degree angles. So therefore, if this angle is uh, 45 degrees, uh, then this uh, angle uh, is going to be 45 degrees uh, as well since both of them are our corresponding angles. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle PDB. And we can see this angle is 45 degrees and likewise uh, this angle is 45 degrees and this is uh, our right angle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, is an isosceles triangle as well. In other words, uh, this uh, side uh, PD is going to be equal to this side uh, BD. If uh, this segment is uh, three units, uh, then this uh, BD segment is going to be three units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see this whole uh, OB length uh, is uh, radius lowercase r and this segment uh, BD is uh, 3. So therefore uh, this uh, remaining segment uh, OD is going to be r uh, minus uh, 3. And in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this uh, center O with this uh, point C. As you can see in this uh, next step and we can see this uh, segment uh, OC is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. So therefore I'm going to label this one uh, as uh, lowercase r radius as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CDO. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to solve for radius uh, r. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is lowercase r. Our one of the legs uh, is uh, r minus 3. Whereas this uh, other leg uh, CD is going to be 2 plus 3. That is going to make 5 uh, units. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, r minus uh, 3 square plus uh, 5 square is going to be equal to r square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply this uh, identity on this binomial on the left hand side so therefore we are going to have uh, r square minus uh, 6 times r uh, plus 9 and plus uh, 
5 square is 25 equal to r square on the right hand side and now we can see this r square and this r square they cancel each other out so therefore uh, now we are going to combine these uh, like terms so therefore we are going to have a negative 6r plus uh, 34 equal to 0 and now we are going to move this uh, negative 6r uh, on the other side let's divide both uh, sides by 6 to isolate uh, radius r so therefore uh, our radius uh, r turns out to be equal to if we reduce the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 17 divided by 3 units so thus the radius of this quarter circle turns out to be 17 divided by 3 units and here's our next step we are going to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where r is the radius so therefore uh, the quarter circle area is going to be pi r square divided by 4 so therefore we are going to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle so i'm going to write down pi divided by 4 times our radius is 17 divided by 3 whole square and now we can see the square of this uh, 17 divided by 3 is uh, 289 divided by 9 so therefore if we multiply and simplify the right hand side uh, it's going to give us uh, 289 pi divided by 36 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, AOB and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base and the height and in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle is uh, lowercase r and the height is uh, lowercase r and our r value is uh, 17 divided by 3 so therefore we can write the area of this triangle as 1 divided by 2 times uh, 17 divided by 3 times uh, 17 divided by 3 as well and if we simplify and multiply the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 289 divided by 18 and here's our final step we know that our uh, green shaded area equals to the quarter circle area minus the triangle AOB area and we have already calculated this quarter circle area over here and likewise the area of the triangle AOB as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so therefore our green shaded area is going to be 289 pi divided by 36 minus this triangle area is 289 divided by 18 square units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our green shaded area turns out to be equal to 289 pi divided by 36 minus 289 divided by 18 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 9.16 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye